Hi everyone, welcome to this channel. In this question, we are given that this is a semicircle. These two semicircles are touching each other. This semicircle is touching these two semicircles as shown in the diagram. Length of FG is equal to length of CD. This CD is diameter for the semicircle and this FG is the radius of this semicircle and AB is the diameter of the biggest semicircle whose perimeter is given as 1008 cm. We have to find the area of this pink shaded semicircle. This is the point of contact where this tangent line touches this circle and this is the point of contact for this semicircle and this is the point of contact. As radius and tangent at the point of contact will be right angle. If we join it, it will be right angle. So this is 90. Let us suppose that this point is P. This point is Q. So FG and PQ are both perpendicular to this line. It means these two lines are parallel lines. FG length is equal to CD length for a moment. If we take this as R, so this will be R and this will be R. This is 2R. This is 2R. This is also 2R. Now this angle is common in triangle BQP and BGF. And this QP is R, GF is 2R. This is the radius of the bigger semicircle, twice of this radius. So this by this is 1 by 2. It means BQ by BG is 1 by 2. Similar triangles, corresponding sides of similar triangles are in same proportion. It means, since this is half of this, it means this part is half of this full part. So we can find this by using Pythagoras theorem. This is midpoint of FB and PF is 2R plus R 3R. So therefore PB will also be 3R and this is R. So this remaining part will be 2R. By using Pythagoras theorem, this is 3R, this is R. So PB square is equal to QP square plus QB square. So 9R square minus R square is this QB square. So QB square is equal to square root of 8R square which is 2 root 2R. This only from here to here. And same thing this GQ will be 2 root 2R. If we join this and this we will get two right angle triangles. Let us assume this part, let us suppose this is O. Let us suppose this GO be X and this radius, radius of this pink semicircle is Y. This is 2R. This is R and this is Y. This is 2 root 2R. Two and this part is x so this oq is equal to 2 root 2 r minus x now we can use these two right angle triangles by using pythagoras theorem we can find the relation between x y r and then we can calculate this y value so from right angle triangle fgo and poq by Pythagoras theorem y plus 2r the whole square is equal to 2r square plus this square is equal to x square plus 2r square so this is 1 from this right angle triangle y plus r square is equal to r square plus 2 root 2r minus x the whole square if we simplify these two we will get y square plus 4r square plus 4yr 
is equal to x square plus 4r square so these two will get cancelled and we found x square is equal to y square plus 4yr if we simplify this we will get y square plus r square plus 2yr is equal to r square plus 8r square plus x square minus 4 root 2rx so these two r square and r square will get cancelled and x square is y square plus 4yr we substitute this value here so we are getting y square plus 2ir is equal to 8r square plus y square plus 4yr minus 4 root 2rx these two will get cancelled so we are getting 2ir is equal to 4 root 2rx minus 8r square because r is not 0 we can divide throughout by 2r so this is 2r cancelled this is 4 are cancelled so we are getting y is equal to 2 root 2 x minus 4 r and which is 2 root 2 x is equal to y plus 4 r if we square it so we will get 8 x square is equal to y square plus 16 r square plus 8yr x square is y square plus 4yr so 8x square is 8y square plus 32yr which is 8y square plus 32yr is equal to y square plus 16r square plus 8yr if we simplify so 7y square plus 24yr minus 16 r square is equal to 0 and if we factor it we will get y plus 4 r in one bracket and 7 y minus 4 r in other bracket and that is what y either is equal to minus 4 r which is not acceptable as it is coming negative or y is equal to 4 r by 7 now we have to find r as we are given that perimeter of the biggest semicircle is 1008 so formula for perimeter of semicircle is pi r plus diameter which is 2r that is given as 1008 r is common pi I'm taking 22 by 7 plus 2 1008 so it means r into 14 plus 22 is 36 by 7 1008 so r is equal to 1008 into 7 by 36 if we cancel 36 into 28 will give 1008 so we are getting r is equal to 28 into 7 that is 196 centimeter but this r is this r our r is one fourth of this so we can say that this capital r let us suppose sorry so this capital r so this this r is equal to one fourth of this which is 49 centimeter now area of this so this area is equal to so required area is equal to half pi r square or oh, sorry uh, this r is 49 
so will be 4 by 7 into 49 so 7 7 are this 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 radius the required semicircles radius is 28 so 28 into 28 7 2 are 14 and 2 are this so it is coming 22 into 56 and that is 11 into 112 and that is equal to this much centimeter square and this is the required semicircles area